Hello everyone, my name is Chris Eads, welcome to my SAT math class. Now this class is going to be a little different because I don't believe in simply teaching you the math, because this is about the SAT. And knowing math is tremendously helpful, but knowing how to take the SAT is far more helpful. And so what we're going to do is, we're going to do a lot of problems, a lot of practice problems. Now I'm going to go into specific sets of practice problems and do each one of them in turn so that you get practice in not only doing the math but also in thinking how the test makers make the test. Now the SAT math test is broken down into four different parts. Now not broken down on the test itself but they divide the math into these four general sections. The first section is called number and operations. The second one, let me refer to my notes here, algebra and functions. The third one, geometry and measurement. And the fourth one, data analysis, probability, and statistics. Now we'll be taking each one in turn, and this particular video will be tackling number and operations. And uh, we're going to start with properties of integers. But before we get into that, I want to preface this by saying, by far, the most useful thing that you can do to succeed on the SAT math is to learn your times tables. Now I know this sounds uh, perhaps overly simplistic, but it's 100% true. If you are in the test and you can't remember what 7 times 6 is off the top of your head, chances are you're not going to remember much of the other details uh, concerning the math that we're going to get into. So you absolutely must know your times tables at least to 10 times 10 and preferably 12 times 12, 15 times 15 even. 